Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Every season is different. Some seasons you find a lot of success and some seasons you struggle. This year I seem to have found quite a few times in which I had opportunities to shoot some decent doe and buck, but it just didn't come together. In this video I'm going to show you guys six opportunities that I had that I just didn't seal the deal. Oh, I screwed that one up. Watching two bucks behind me. Trying to get them on camera. And all of a sudden I hear a deer blow 20 yards right to my left and I've got two does standing right next to me. Forget how damn smart these animals are until you get back out of the woods hunting again. You realize how easy it is to screw it up. I got to see deer. That's a cool thing. Two bucks. Five doe tonight. Excited. I got to see a doe tonight. Uh, first time sitting there. She got within about 25 yards, but public land you can't trim. So I figure she stayed right behind one branch for about 10 minutes. And she wasn't real spooked. She just knew something was up. So she turned around, slowly meandered away. So hopefully that bodes well for getting back in there. I think it's going to be a great rut stand, maybe even a great gun stand. So good evening. Time to get out of here, go home, and uh, get some dinner. I am super frustrated. Had that doe coming right in. Nice three and a half year old buck following her in. Had two other doe underneath me. There's a rail on this stand. And I was trying to inch forward in my seat a little bit and get my body turned so that all I had to do was lift up just a little bit to get my bow up over the rail and pull back. And she saw me. Game over. Man, that sucks. He was 40 yards away coming in and she busted me. So close, but that's part of the game. So just go ahead and keep at it. And I have faith it's going to happen. About an hour after that doe busted me and that seven point took off, I ended up having a four by one come in. Probably about 45 yards away, I reached for my camera arm and my camera arm hit my bow and it clinked. And he immediately looked up at me. And he was real hesitant the rest of the time. He slowly fed to within about 40, 42 yards. And um, I had moved my arm one time to go ahead and adjust the camera angle. And since he was already paying attention to me, he saw me and he turned around and took off. He did a big half circle around me, stayed about 60 yards away, and ended up about 60 yards above me right near dark and then slowly meandered off. So another one of those what ifs. It seems like that's been part of the season. Goddamn cool, man. I've been watching this eight point dog, this doe, for two hours now. I thought I was gonna be able to see him breed, but he kind of pushed her off.
hoping they come back because she is super close. Or I'm hoping she draws in a couple other bucks. We'll see. Okay, here we are getting ready for another afternoon. Had a great night last night. Almost got a shot at a real nice seven point. Um, had an eight point ten in a doe for about an hour and a half in front of me this morning. So definitely some action. I'm going to sit on the uh, edge of a field tonight and uh, hoping I can get some doe come out to field to feed and uh, hopefully get some buck come out to check them. So, As you can see, I had plenty of missed opportunities this year, but every hunt is a learning experience and I'll take what I learned this year and I'll apply that to public and private land hunting in the next couple of years. And hopefully I'll have more positive experiences with harvesting doe and buck out in the woods next year than I did this year. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting, hoping that you guys have a great day. See ya.